Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at the stylized water shader and generator and this is made available by Cassie Sheep. This is an interesting procedural add-on that combines both shader based water materials and geometry nodes generator for building very stylized water surfaces. At the same time, this comes with some very interesting presets which you can use to get things going. And for those who like to take a look at this, you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here where you'll be able to get it for 25% off. And with that said, let's dive right into Blender and explore how this actually works. So with Blender simply open, all you need to do is to drag and drop the add-on right inside of your viewport. And once you do that, you can click on OK to install it. And then to confirm if this has been installed, you need to go over to Edit, go over to Preference, go over to the add-on section to confirm that this has been installed. And once you have that ready, if you tap N on the keyboard, you would now notice that this exists right here, where you have stylized water. And so within here is where you can start doing stuff. So the first things which I'll suggest that you do is to click to enable ray tracing. That is very important. So once you have that done, let's go ahead and get rid of the default cube. And then we can start playing with the preset that it comes with. So these presets are about 13 of them. And these are across different categories. Actually, if you like to see them based off categories, if you click down here, you can go ahead and check them. So we've got the fish effects. We've got the lotus flowers. We've got three of those. We've got splashing water effects. We've got four of those and then we've got the water and this gives us about three of those so if you like to work with any of them how you can work with them is very simple so say for example we would like to throw in some stylized water let's go ahead and explore that we can select the one that we want and we can simply click on import asset if we like to import this where the 3d cursor is that is actually available but if we just want to import this we can click on import to get that in now, once we import this, you would notice that it gives us some shader parameters and it also gives us some generator stuff that we can also work with. After that, we can go over and get some splashing waves and we can add some splashing waves right here. Click on import and that gets layered right on top. You can scale this if you want or you can simply keep it the way it is. And then we can also go over to Lotus Flower. Let's say we'd like to add a few of that. We can add that as well. Let's just scale this a little bit more, like something like so and we can add fishes. So it's more like a modular procedural stuff. I don't think that makes sense. So we can have that. If we like to add the koi fishes, we can have them there. We can scale this if we want. You'd also notice that the fishes, they do have like this whole lattice thing going around. So you can play with these parameters independently. So if we go over to the generator for the fishes, we can make some decisions. So we can go down here, we can increase the density of the fishes if we want. We can play with the animation speed of the fishes because this gets animated. If we like to scale these, bring them down all the way up, we can also do that. You can also choose to preview the bounding box mesh or turn this off and preview the path if we like to see how the animation of the fishes will be. So we can have those ready and turn them off, of course, if we want to as well. And for rendering, we're simply switching to cycles and we're simply going to switch this to GPU, set this all the way to the render, and there you have it. But for sure, we don't have the right light, so we can go over to the light section and change this to sun, which is a bit too bright, but we're simply going to set this to one and we have something that works. And in this way, we can now press the space bar and of course, we can see the fish is being animated. If we go back to the render view, of course, we can also set this to the noise and we can get some nicer looking playback. So if we press the playback button, you can see we have these beautiful stuff going on. So with all of these properties and stuff here, we can actually make some changes. So one of the changes that you can make here has to do with the floating effects. So if we go over to the floating effects, we can play with the animation speed and we can also play with the range of movements if we want. So you do have all of that option. So once we turn that off, of course, you can see that happening. And another thing that we said we're also going to explore when we're rendering is the shaders. So within the shader section, we can actually make some changes. Maybe we like to change the color, the color of the water. Maybe we like to make it a bit more stylized. Of course we can. Then we can also change the color of the foam as well. Maybe we like to make that a little bit more stylized as well. We can. Other things that you can make changes to includes things like the lotus flower. So if we go over to the generator where we have the lotus flower, we can play with the scale. If we want to do that, we can also play with the density if we like to do that. And because this whole thing is fully procedural, you can do some very interesting stuff with it. So these are very cool. If you like to do some weight painting, maybe you like them to be sort of designed in a specific way, you can. So we can have that selected click, go over to the weight painting area and we can drop the weight down if we want and we can start painting to paint things out. If we tap F on the keyboard, we can scale the brush 
and we can paint things out and that way we can control how we would like the lotus to be painted and of course once we're ready we can now click back to object mode and get things how we would like them to be and of course to any of these ones that you have you can scale them to get them to fit exactly how or what you want to create so this is basically how you can go from start to finish creating amazing stuff with this and it is quite interesting to see that we have an add-on that allows you to do all of these things easily the weight painting feature is available for almost everything so to every of the spot that you have selected you can simply go ahead and click to add a new weight paint and paint weights and do some of those cool stuff and this is by far a very cool tool for anyone thinking about creating stylized water effects especially this type of stylized water effect in blender it's a very simple tool and a huge shout out to cassie sheep for making this possible and for those who like to grab this this is currently doing a 25 percent off and that same 25 percent off is applicable to some other things that you can find on Superhive right now. More specifically, Cassie Ship is also doing a 25% off on another new tool that he has called the Quad Filler 1.0 as the 2026 update is here. So if you're into things like retopology and stuff like that, there is a tool right now that you can use. This is definitely going to help you do some very cool stuff. You can grab this for 25% off. It is very interesting. The folks at Interior Models, they are doing an 88% off. We've already covered this one on the channel before. We talked about it. Pretty cool tool. You can actually go ahead and grab that. UV Master version 4 is available. Of course, this has nothing to do with percentage off, but it is a very impressive tool and it's pretty new for those who are into UV organization. Possibly you need a nice UV tool that you can use to unpack UVs, clean UVs, get perfect UVs inside of Blender. You can go ahead and check that out. We've also got these other ones. It's a nice tool for anyone that is thinking about customizing female base meshes that you can tweak and get some very impressive base meshes which you can proceed to sculpt and also do some nice animations with. This is also available. And of course, if you're looking for a huge pack of geometry nodes, I bet you Omitail has actually done something that is very, very cool. All of the stuff that he has here, 170 stuff, all of these he's giving out for a huge, huge slash. So I think about 72% slash or something like that. He's giving all of this out. You can go ahead and check this one and it is pretty impressive to see and of course for those who like to take a look at this or possibly you'd like to grab them then links to this is going to be in the description so do well to check it out tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and until i see you guys in the next one peace